Salvation comes when we say, Jesus, I believe in you. I believe that you are the Son of God, sent by the Father to die on a cross, to shed your blood as the final payment for all sin. And when I put my faith in that, when I put my faith in you, Lord Jesus, then as Pastor Blaine was saying, I am a new creation. Uh, give me a minute This is my youngest, Olivia. It would be expected for me to be emotional, I suppose, but it's not the typical for me. Not that I'm not emotional, but... There's things... As believers, God's given us his spirit. So the spirit talks to us. Do you know that? Man. That's what the spirit was sent to do, is to talk to us. Anybody who has Jesus in them has the spirit talking to him or her. So I think there's things that the spirit, I see in my daughter. And it brings a happy joy to see her passion for Jesus. I'm sure my other kids will be watching in. So as I say this, it's not a hit, you guys. So (laughs) I'll take it this way. But uh, she just so loves being around the church that she she goes to two different youth groups every given week and as a parent it just blesses me I was praying for you sweetie and here's what the Lord quickly showed me early this morning two things the first was bread and then a menu (laughs) so I just said Lord what are you showing me what is this about And then the spirit, as he typically does, he'll bring scripture up. And in John chapter six, Jesus says that I am the bread of life. I felt like the Lord wants you to understand. And this is where the menu comes into play. That when people come into your life, just like we go to a restaurant and we open up a menu and here's all these great things we can choose from. Because you make Jesus important in your life, because you make him number one, it allows the fruit of the Holy Spirit to be evident in your life. It allows the gifts of the Holy Spirit to be evident in your life. It allows the anointing of God's Spirit to be upon your life. And uh, just I felt like the Lord would want to encourage you with that as you draw near to him, he draws near to you but that you offer something because you allow him in your life. It's like opening up a menu and that you'll have so much to offer people throughout your life because you just simply follow Jesus. Make sense? Lord Jesus, I thank you for my daughter. We thank you for our daughter. Lord, the body of Christ, we thank you for another young woman who's choosing to follow you in a culture that tends to run from you. Lord, I just thank you for your faithfulness to her, your faithfulness to your word that does not return void. Thank you, God, for the body of Christ that surrounds her today to celebrate in a a 
active decision to follow you, to be baptized. We all just say thank you, God, for Olivia Joy Ferguson. Most people don't know that Olivia's favorite thing to do is stand in front of lots of people. <laughs> no, it's not. That's okay. We talked about how, how personal this is right now. How between you and the Lord is what matters most. But there is something that he does call us to do, and that is to profess our faith to this world. So Olivia, is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Yes. Yes. So I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I was one way, but now I'm different. There was a clear change in a holy collision. Who I was and who I'll forever be. He was the 